But in any case, I'm not particularly interested in educating you. If you would like to talk to me after, <laughs> then that's what? fine. I'd be happy to. Can what you do you have more to smug? educate anybody on? Wait, it? you couldn't educate anybody about anything other than how to be an asshole. He couldn't educate you how to breathe out your mouth without choking. Okay, but, <laughs> but like smug, smug levels. We've reached critical. Like I am not here to educate you. It's and the so, framing device of knowing that he deleted all of his shit after this just makes yep, this so yep. fucking mm. precious. Perfect. What a precious little Wait. rabbit. Tribes of the Plains were barely organized, semi-nomadic hunter-gatherers who knew only oh, territorial wars that. and primitivism. And then, in 2016, using records, archaeological fieldwork, and remote sensing technology, Etsanoa once again became a fact. The stories natives had been telling for generations were finally again acknowledged as fact. As has happened many times in recent years, the U.S. was... Are you What's starting Etsanoa? to notice the way mm -hmm. that he talks? Mm -hmm. yes. Very um, performative. What, what is that accent Noah? is so good. It's scary. Do know what that means? Sorry? What? Etza Noah? Is that what he said? Yes. I'm assuming What's it's... Et What's Etza Noah? Historical... I was just literally Googling it as you... <laughs> it's a historical Wichita city located in Kansas. Wichita? Dubbed the Great Settlement by Spanish explorers who visited and housed 20 Wichita Blas people. Et, there you go. Um, et, et's a Noah. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm not a fan of when people don't talk like people. Instead, that they talk as though they are presenting and they want to be seen as like a really, I don't know, rhetoric strong presenter right. of. Just like, calm down. Talk to me like a human. He's like, we'll get more as it goes on. It just bothered me when I was listening to it. He he does sound so much like your negative stereotype of like the hoity-toity academic professor. Yeah, that's talking down to you because yes. you don't know what happened because you're a... Yeah, so much so that it's like it has to be intentional. Like no one's born speaking that way. No, no one is born speaking right. this way. It's like, you know, Michael Eric Dyson, when he does his whole like preacher oh, voice, my. you're like, no one's born speaking that way. That's intention. Someone, they learned that on purpose. Well, we, we get it constantly on EFAB, all the fucking video essays people, they always change their voices. We even, we even had a guy on who his voice was not the same as in videos. And he was like, this is what my real voice sounds like. He's like, D I mean, that's fine. <laughs> Like, well, I mean, there's a difference. Like, it'll depend, yeah. Like, if I'm like, so when I'm reading a script, I'm gonna sound different than if I'm just having a conversation with someone, obviously. But, mm -hmm. but I try not to put on a special voice. You know? Well, that's no. good to hear from you, Sitch. Let me tell you why Avatar: The Last Airbender is the best animated TV show ever made. See, we can tell you're lying because of the way you're speaking. <laughs> also, because you said something that wasn't true. <laughs> forced to again confront the cruelty and lies that had been perpetrated against the indigenous peoples right up to this very day. In May of 2021, using records, archaeological fieldwork, and remote sensing technology, the stories of the residential schools recorded by the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's report and told by natives for that generations were finally again. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission? Like, what the fuck? Is this like some covenant shit from Halo? <laughs> oh my god. Listen, okay, they sounds... know the truth, and they're going to help you right out with it. If, I, if there's a committee with the word truth in its name, I'm already like, oh, you're doing mm. the opposite of what you want me to think. Ugh. Yes. The I Ministry assume... of Truth has called you to witness. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Acknowledged as fact. Canada is presented with two possibilities when such simple and straightforward modifications to the histories that we were all taught as children are uncovered. We can, as in the case of Etzanoa, accept the correction, accept the native stories were true all along, and move forward with the knowledge that wrongs were... Uh, just because you prove one thing untrue, that doesn't automatically make the other side true. I was about to say, that sounds like a really clear. bad precedent, that if that... we find any evidence that implies that, uh, you know, controversial acts took place, that we simply believe every story told by the people about that history, it's like, whoa. Of course. Mm. Listen and believe. Because I was about to say, like, that can lead to very bad results. This, this, or it, this gives me the energy of, well, if evolution is a lie, there must be a god. <laughs> Calm down. God is committed. That must be is that a with. common argument or, you hear? Yeah. That, that is. That all the yeah. Time. Yeah. Okay. People, yes. people who call into atheist shows and go to atheist debates. Oh no, I meant like, on EFAP. <laughs> oh, not on EFAP. No, no, they ain't ready for that. Oh. 
However, we can choose, as Lauren apparently has, what has brought us here today. Refuse the most basic and straightforward facts in favor of denial, deflection, and dismissal. I come Already here lie. as witness to those facts. As one small voice in a chorus to those stories. Oh, fuck off. As one small voice. It's <laughs> in like, a oh, chorus. God. Yeah. You already I'm said just... she's a... Denial. Ugh. Dismissal. I'm it's just like one... a fucking uh, documentary or something. Yes. Oh, you're yeah. right. That is the perfect Today, documentary Today, we're going to be looking at the events as they transpire. <laughs> Viewer discretion <laughs> oh, is advised. That's... Please. That's so hide creepy. small children and animals. <laughs> Oh, Mars American realistic. accent is pretty good. It is good. Yeah. He also just fucking flattened her, which was the first strike, I would say. Like, so that's drawing first blood. It's like, he basically just said that she's lying or that yes. she's ignoring horrible crime. It's like, you couldn't have had, the good faith approach would have been Lauren might be mistaken about this, but he's already drawn first blood. It's like, nope. Which, um, I know it sounds a little bit weird, but it's like, well, that that changes the atmosphere now. You've, you've taken that step. Right. So, and you can tell she's already her body language has yeah, changed as well. She's totally. she's already like, yep. ah, that's what we're doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're, you've put her on the defensive already. So. Yep. Freaking right. art in the chat has a good point. He says, if he's so erase, if he's so against erasing native culture, why is he speaking that way? Hmm. Interesting. Ah. Maybe he's trying to appeal to the the uh, modern culture, trying to get him on his side. You know. Right. I come here to discuss justice for those wrongs and the restoration of dignity for those who suffer. Um, oh, for a second I'm there, before I clicked back, I thought somebody was mockingly yep, doing his voice, yep. and then I, <laughs> I had to click back on the watch together, and he was, it was actually... <laughs> I will I will be 100% honest. I was like, man, that was a good impression. Like, yeah, I, I thought like sure. Adam or something was doing this. I'm here like, for justice. Good. This is justice. You know you're you know you're a really great speaker when you're indistinguishable from your parody. Right. <laughs> oh, there you go. Right. Voice in a chorus to those stories. I come here to discuss justice for those wrongs and the restoration <laughs> of dignity for those. I swear, if he doesn't he end this yes. with in the twilight zone, I'm yeah, gonna be yeah, very yeah, disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> I come here now to talk to you from beyond. <laughs> oh you're like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you talking this way? <laughs> That's Picture, so if you will, this. Picture, if you will. <laughs> to suffer Time what was erased. Okay. So, I just want to re-establish the rules one last time. Re if the See, only he knows. That the he moderator knows. didn't say how many seconds he had left. Oh, really? Well, he said time. Yeah. Because he, he not that interesting, time, but... but... So, I Dylan knows. Yeah. Dylan accepted exactly what you said, Mahler, that the the... The attitude changed considerably as soon as he started coming out and calling everyone liars. He's like, oh, oh yeah, and, and, and it's going to get worse. Like, the, yeah, you talk about bad faith, right? Like, hmm, we're about to get a big old dose of that. Oh, yeah. Well, the other side is a jerk. Yeah. Well, that side is ruining existence. <laughs> Picture, right. if you will, talking to a Nazi on the internet about indigenous people in graves. You don't deserve dignity. No. Oh, that's so good. Tonight in the commie zone. <laughs> if it gets out of control, I will assert myself and shut down the conversation. Look at if this. Look it's at this. Unfair, I'm sorry to say that I don't care. It already was unfair. <laughs> I will do my <laughs> best to, to restore. I'm a law and order moderator. Law and order. Uh, other than that, I think everybody else knows no terms of service violations of any sort. Uh, we are now going to have an open format for about... Oh, my God. Someone in Lance's chat. So in the surf chat said that Tale of Twin Rabbits sounds like an audiobook on 1.2 speed. No. Oh it's the lame kind of voice where it's just... Anyone can do that voice. This is what I mean, right? If, if a Tale of Twin Rabbits was like, this is just my voice. I'd be like, no, it's not. You're lying to me. Stop it. Yeah, right. you don't actually right. speak like that. Fuck off. Nobody fucking does those stupid pauses. How do you know? Look, you could see a picture of him and his head could be black and white, okay? He could be transposed <laughs> from a 1950s radio show. You don't know this. Well, even those radio show hosts from the fucking 50s put it on, like, put on the pauses and the presentation, you know? In their everyday lives, they don't right. talk that way. I don't know. I thought everyone talked that way in the 50s. It was a different time. Yeah, that's true. Everything was black and white back then. Yeah, exactly. Before color was invented. It's crazy. An hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes at max. Uh, and then with two minute outros, uh, anyone is free to start the conversation. It is now open for dialogue. Woohoo.
Well, considering that I have just been accused of denying basic facts, I would really like a tale of Twin Rabbit to describe which basic facts I've denied. Good stuff. All right, here we go. Yeah. In your opening statement, you said that these deaths didn't occur and that these bodies weren't found. That's not what I said, is it? I said there were no mass graves found. I would be curious to know what your evidence is for that claim. <laughs> I would be First, curious to know, uh, to know what your what, evidence what, what is your evi- for that for claim. That claim. Is it, now he not, sounds a little more robotic now that he's knocked off his like, game. He's like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, like a yeah, William because, Shatner parody voice almost. It's a really bad start because he's he's made a claim about it. She asked for proof. He's given a second claim and she's like, it's not true. So it's like, oh, really bad start if you the first claim you make is fucking false. So of course mm-hmm. he's already rustled. Bye 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 bye. Taking it too far, sir. <laughs> Come on. <laughs>